Mike reporting for ACCast.com, live from London's Leicester Square, home of London's Theatre World and Movie World. Very fortunate to meet the Macedonian delegation, Jana Bocheska. Yay! Yeah, you got it right, yes. So, welcome to London. How has it been so far? Oh, it's wonderful. It fits me so well. Yesterday, we had a wonderful day. We saw so many beautiful things, like all the standard monuments. And yeah. the weather, wow. the weather was like cooperating and it wasn't even raining, which yeah. was... It's a bit awesome. cold today. Sorry about that. Yeah, it is kind of windy, but still, I'm so excited. I don't even feel it. What was the best thing you saw in London yesterday? Oh, definitely the Kinky Boots musical. Yeah, I one, right? loved it. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so, nice. so coming on to Eurovision, can you tell me how your plans coming along for Kiev? What's what's the preparation stages? Maybe some things about the staging. I can't say anything about the staging. Um, I'll have to keep it mysterious. So you know, the effect of the surprise is always the best. Yeah. Um, so far, things are going very well. I mean, we're on the right track. Uh, every almost everything thing is ready I'm waiting on my costume okay. which is gonna be a surprise interesting okay. so just touching on the song uh, your, your songs are a real favorite among the Eurovision fans how does that feel <laughs> I, I, I couldn't believe it I was like okay I knew I love this song but I didn't know that many 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 other people would yeah. love it too it's one of my favorites actually Oh, thank you. Uh, I hope not you're not just saying. No, I'm not just saying. I'm actually not just saying that. I'm, a, I'm usually a rock boy, uh -huh. but because there's not really a huge number of rock songs this year, I'm kind of going more towards the edgy dance pop music. <laughs> and yours is one of the better ones in that category this year, I have to say. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's kind of synth pop, 80s, kind of tasty. Um, yeah, I, I'm very happy. I mean, the fans have been wonderful. The media was also very supportive. They like published a lot of articles on the song saying all the best things about the song and the video too. So I, I couldn't be happier. I mean, it's it's perfect. <laughs> okay, so Eurovision is not the only thing in your world. You, you do a lot of work with UNICEF. Can you tell me some things about that? That's quite interesting for me. Yeah, it is very interesting and I'm glad you, you brought that up because not many of your colleagues do it. Um, oh, okay. UNICEF, uh, that was a project um, against bullying in schools. It was named uh, Schools Free of Violence. Yeah. So me and two other Macedonian artists who also <laughs> were representing Macedonia on Eurovision. Yeah. Who was uh, it was Next Time. Yeah. And Adrian Gaja, he was singing with Tamara Todevska and Vrtak, okay. I think. I, I can't really remember the exact year, but okay. they were there. Um, so uh, what we did is we were promoting Schools Free of Violence. We went to school, like talk to children, don't fight, love, peace, yeah. and happiness. <laughs> and do you, f do you feel that's benefited your career, or do you, do you just is this something you'll just continue as a side? Uh, well, uh, d definitely two yeses. Uh, the first one, yes, it has helped me in my career a lot on, on oh so many levels, yeah. and I continued doing it. I mean, I like charity works. I I, I kind of can't say no to a charity event when I'm invited. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's great. I'm super well done for that. And so it makes me like feel like contributing to this world yeah, absolutely so coming back to Eurovision uh, I know it's maybe a little bit bit away ahead what's the plans for after Eurovision we're we gonna see some albums from you tell me a bit about that I really don't have a concrete plan okay. like a, something precise um, but I hope for an album cool. I hope for a more serious career cuz you know music have, has always been like a serious hobby for me never a career yeah. and now I have that opportunity to make it a career <laughs> Yeah, no, it's so lovely to speak to you. Uh, just one final thing. I'm, I'm quite well known in Eurovision that I always put people on the spot and ask them to sing. It's very early in the morning, but would you just sit, sing a little bit of dance alone for me? Only if you sing along. No, huh? sing. Have you heard cats being strangled? Have you heard cats being strangled? Because that's what my singing sounds like. I don't believe it. Yeah, I mean, I you said my song was one of your favorites. You and should know the lyrics. It, I sing it in the bathroom and nowhere else. <laughs> okay, so. then. I will dance alone wherever I am. The rhythm follows. Whoa, whoa, whoa. he should sing no, alone. I <laughs> Get lost in the sound of no tomorrow. I'll do the claps. <laughs> <laughs> the verses. Exactly. That's, yeah, that, that's that's the total of me. Okay, so thanks so much for talking to us this morning. We hope you have a great day. Enjoy the party tonight. Oh, the London the London crowd is particularly good fun to sing in, and perform in front of us. Really? They're always really enthusiastic. So. Yay! That, that's good news. <laughs> thanks so much. Thank you.